Hey what's up everybody this is Tattoo Bart welcome back to the channel in today's video I'm gonna be comparing my Dan Cuban V3R with the Sensei V3 by Deiki Irons uh, just something different than what I did the last time because I was comparing the real Dan Cuban to a fake one now in this one I'm kinda gonna show you an alternative for the Dan Cuban so I hope you enjoy watch this video and have fun <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm making this video is uh, basically I am based in Europe. I live in Amsterdam. Uh, I'm a tattoo artist here and Dan Cuban unfortunately is all the way in the US. Now he does have some suppliers around here in Europe but if you have a problem with your machine it requires me to send it in. It is probably going to go somewhere in the U.S. because Workhorse Irons is also owned by the. By, it's also a U.S. company, I believe, and they will have to fix it for me, and then it will take a long time. And I always like looking into the Sidewinder style machines, like the Denku in or like this Deiki Irons one, uh, because they just work really nice for me. Uh, but yeah, I cannot afford buying multiple machines from Dan Cuban or afford it to have my machine being gone for a long period of time if I have to send it in so I looked for the alternative and I found Deiki Irons I've uh, bought a different machine from them first I bought the Refirst uh, V5 I believe uh, and I also saw this one on the website but I didn't need it at the time and then later I got a my hands got a little bit itchy and I wanted to buy a new machine and I went for this one um, and I'm actually super happy that I bought this one because it's a really nice machine so in this machine I'm gonna compare it with the Dan Cuban I'm not gonna go too in-depth about the Dan Cuban machine because I have already done a machine uh, because I have already done uh, an episode on the Dan Cuban uh, with the Poseidon which is the real versus fake I will link it in the description and also have it somewhere up here playing for you guys uh, so you can have a look at that one if you haven't seen that one before uh, and in this video I'm gonna be talking more about this machine rather than the Dan Cuban machine so I hope you're gonna enjoy it we're gonna dive down and see what the machines look like uh, if they have similarities how they run I'm gonna tattoo with them so stick around till the end and have fun watching so now that we are here we can have a look at them a little bit closer on the left side I have the uh, Sensei by Deiki Irons and here I have my Dan Cuban V3R uh, now you can see they look very similar it's a sidewinder kind of tattoo machine uh, this one well standard the cam here and then it has some sort of spring return spring on the bottom here uh, more information is in the video uh, the, in the previous video uh, with the real versus fake one in this one we're gonna be talking a little bit more about this so you got the cam here on the side but instead of having any kind of return spring in the bottom here uh, it has a spring how you would see on a coil machine I don't know if you can see that let's bring it up a little closer there's a little spring there and uh, it allows it to go onto the contact screw that you can see that's attached here uh, which is not connected to electricity I believe because I think the electricity here will just make this move uh, but it will absorb some of the energy on its way down and also help it bounce back a little bit sharper so you can get nice and solid lines with that so this will obviously start spinning your your armature bar will start moving uh, and it will work really good at least that's my opinion uh, now the biggest difference that I can see um, which uh, um, now the the biggest thing I can see with how the machine runs and the, and the, the biggest difference is on the Dan Cuban here in the bottom you have the little dial wheel where you can set stroke lengths and uh, pretty much uh, 
figure figure out a way where the machine will operate in a certain way this one doesn't have it so the machine is just how it is uh, I saw on the website you can uh, ask for a different uh, cam so it has an adjust uh, does, uh, I saw on the website it has an adjustable stroke uh, or you can adjust it uh, or ask the the seller if they can send it in a different one I think this one came with a four millimeter stroke because that's the standard one uh, if you look really close you see here the same as in the Dankubin it has a contact screw which is gonna hit the frame and you always want it to be pretty parallel to the frame that will give you the best operation so that's that well got a thumb screw here uh, which is funny because since it's from Italy it's made out of a euro this one the soldering job is not too great I think but you know it's it's on there as a nice I like that overall it looks really nice it feels similar in weight maybe this one is just a wee bit heavier but not that much uh, it seems to be looking solid compared to the other one uh, the body maybe feel that ah, similar they're all very similar this one look a little bit more bulky than this one it looks a little bit skinnier it's also a little bit lighter but I actually don't mind a heavy machine as long as it's balanced right that's the most important part for me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some practice skin it's gonna be most likely the same practice skin where I done the test run with the Dan Cuban and the Poseidon on and I'm gonna probably do the exact same design but then with this machine and see how it compares to the other two as well so stick around and I'm gonna get ready for some tattooing so the same like the last video I've drawn a similar design in the other one uh, I'm going to show you how to set up this machine and then we're going to tattoo with it a little bit. Uh, there's some things here for a rubber band. They come in the package as well. They are really easy to go around. Otherwise you can do the same thing as with the Dan Cuban. You can turn it and put it over the motor. Uh, I'm going to use a seven round liner for now. I got the grip from Unistar. I always use this brand. They sell it at the local supplier here in Amsterdam and a quadrant seven round liner a normal 35 or a 12 i think is the u.s size if you're uh, watching this from the u.s i always like to bend the needle just a little bit so that the tension from the rubber band just make sure the needle hits the bottom put it in like so screw this one it has a similar locking system I think as the uh, Dan Cuban works very similar slide it in should have done this before put the grommet on the needle have your opening always to the right except if you're using a Dan Cuban then sometimes you need to put it on the other way around and let my needle hang just a little bit just so I don't splash ink all over the practice skin because they are hard to clean and then I got the clip cord <clears throat> put it in the bottom and you're all set to go now we just need a little bit of ink I'm gonna be using Laurel Polini outline black since I'm not allowed to use it in the shop anymore with the new reach rules that they have going on here in Europe we are not allowed to use every single color and every single black anymore all right let's get ready for some tattooing all right let's get started with some lining um, I'm gonna use it around the seven volts it's recommended to use it anywhere between six and eight for your tattooing um, i like to, to to line with this machine anywhere close to seven volts six and a half to seven 
So here we go. I'll put on a little bit of Vaseline. And I'm gonna be doing the line throughout the middle. Here we go. Well, that was a long line. Feels a little bit strange on practice skin, but it might be the practice skin. line here Alright, that looks absolutely awful. That doesn't look too great, uh, but it's alright. It's just for a practice skin. It feels like I need to push really hard on the practice skin with this machine, where am I? if I'm using it on someone, it actually enters the skin really smooth. I got a little bit more of the hang of it here, I think. It looks a little bit better, this part here in the top. Um, okay, now let's try, we're gonna put this part solid black, the same as in these. I'm gonna do it with the seven round liner as well. Or should I get a magnum? We're gonna get a magnum. Just give me a sec to change and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I got a nine magnum on here. We're gonna pack this part black and do a little bit of shading. Now I'm going to turn my voltage down a little bit. I know it's recommended to use it in between 6 and 8, but I think for packing black I'm going to stick with 6. And then maybe for the shading I might go a little bit slower, since we got a little bit of pepper shading going on in the other one. So here we go. Get a little bit of ink. Let's start with the packing black. I'm gonna go back and forth over it a little bit, see how this thing packs. That looks pretty good. Let's 
seems to be saturating very well maybe even better than the, the two I have above Alright, there we go. A little bit here in the corner. Up to the line. And a little bit here in the top. Nice. and that way we've actually fixed up that little crappy line in the top there I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit this is five volts because I really want to get that pepper shade kind of feel what we have in the top there I think the last time we did it we did it with a liner that's alright I have the magnum here right now Let's see, let's do some whip shading. It's looking nice. Build it up a little bit more. There we go, looking good. I know I'm very slow with my hand speed because I don't like to rush through a tattoo. I'd rather take two or three hours longer shading than breaking up the skin or yeah, have not consistent shading it's just the way I prefer to work I know other people might think otherwise but there it's all personal preference right I know it's kind of a quick demonstration but just want to show real quick what this machine can do so I've done some lines I've done some shading I've done some color in black it does it all I mean you can see it it worked pretty well uh, yeah so that's it let's have a look at the machine one more time before we close this video so let me get everything out of my way and then I'll be right back this machine is definitely my all-day go-to machine all day every day at this moment um, and that's because I am in Europe and my Dan Cuban is not running to fly at the moment I'm gonna try to get it fixed but this is just easier for me because Italy is not too far away I can send it there it will go quick their customer service is absolutely awesome I had a part break on me on my other machine the guy responded super late at night when I was just finishing working and he replied to me oh I'm gonna fix everything for you he sent me some information about how to actually change the part myself so I didn't even have to send it in so Yuri is the owner of the shop. He's an absolutely amazing person and he will help you all day every day with your tattoo machine if everything if anything is wrong with it. 
this one nothing's wrong with it it's running absolutely perfect uh, I'm super happy that I bought this machine uh, this machine I think goes for around 500 euros somewhere in that range which is for us in Europe almost half of what the Dan Cuban is now it is a little bit more limit because you cannot adjust anything on the bottom but you know how many how often do you adjust things on your machine if you're working with it usually it's set on one or maybe you use two different options uh, or, or at least that's what it was for me uh, and now I just have this machine and even with the other machine included with it I have two machines for the same price as I would have with one Den Cuban so I can do both of those things uh, with two machines well I just have to set up two machines but that's no big deal I don't have to change anything in between uh, so I am super happy with this machine uh, if you want to buy one of these machines you can buy them online off their website it's daykeyirons.com but I will link that in the description below if you have any questions about this machine you can always comment me or go on Instagram and contact Daykey Irons themselves uh, I hope I've informed you enough about this machine and I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe we are running close to the 500 subscribers and I promise the giveaway of the Nebula 2 the pen machine on my other video and if you haven't seen that already it's also gonna be in the description so you can see uh, how that machine works all in all have an awesome day keep tattooing Keep doing what you do and see you in the next video.